So I was in Antalya in southern Turkey. I, being American, as I've established in some of my pretty, or previous videos, was, was fairly terrified of the concept of going to a nude spa or a nude sauna. But I decided that I, I absolutely had to try this Turkish hammam experience. And the Turkish hammams are these communal baths that you go to and then you get a, a massage and, and scrub down and, uh, and, and, and rinsed off by a, typically a very large, burly uh, Turkish man. Uh, so it was in Antalya and I, uh, I found this place that was open late that was very historic uh, and I, uh, I decided that uh, I was finally going to do it but I was going to go late so there weren't going to be a lot of people and, and uh, I, I would just I, I would try it. So I'm super nervous. I get to the, I get to the hammam <clears throat> and I ask the guy, I, you know, I check in and he kind of gestures. I'm like, right, do I just do I go naked or do I leave my boxers on? What? He's like, no, 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 you just only the towel. So I I go in and I'm the only one in this place and uh, I, I wrap my towel all around and then they, they show me into the room and there's a big marble plaster or a big marble slab right in the middle of the room and then a lot of little troughs around the outside but because I'm the only one in the room which initially seemed great uh, I don't know what to do so I don't know if I'm supposed to go bathe or rinse myself or just lay there so there's no one around to ask questions so I just kind of I muck around a little bit and then just kind of I lay there on the slab and it is it's really relaxing it's interesting and fairly peaceful nothing nothing too awkward but then the awkward part comes and, and it's the the wash down rub down the massage part so this is the big Turkish guy comes in and he doesn't speak a word of English and he just kind of gestures and, and so I'm like okay so and I'm naked just wrapped in my towel and I walk in and follow him into a little side room gestures at another smaller marble table and so I lay down on that so he proceeds to kind of soap me down and wash me all off and, and then he's got kind of a slightly scrapey uh, uh, sponge and then kind of rubs me down that way so as this is all happening I mean I've only got this towel wrapped around me and the towel's getting progressively wetter and wetter and as he's kind of doing it he's kind of working higher and higher up my thighs and and I'm really feeling like I'm kind of uh, quite exposed but <clears throat> it's not too, too rough at that point. So then a little bit more time passes, kind of scrubs, scrubs down, and then it's time for the rinse off. So then he gestures and has me sit down. And so the spot that he has me sit down, I mean, I'm a tall guy, so I've got my knees basically up like this. And so I've got this towel wrapped around me and you can just imagine what, what everything's on display as I'm sitting there and he's just dumping water over my head. And so I'm like, all right, this, is, this must be kind of par for the course. This is what they do every day, right? And I'm trying to overcome my kind of American anxiety about the whole thing. So I'm, I'm sitting there like, Ugh. All, right, all right, all right, all right. Then he gestures for me to stand up. So, so I stand up and then he, he, he kind of points at my towel. And I'm like, huh? And then he holds up a dry towel. And I'm like, okay. And he points and he, you know, this guy's very, he's a, uh, it's very abrupt <laughs> and, and still so he's like Ugh. so I'm like all right I guess this is what goes so I, I kind of drop the towel and then he mutters something and then wraps the towel around me and I secure it so now I'm like all right well my fear was that I'd end up essentially getting a naked massage and then standing naked in front of a, another dude and uh, well so it's not gonna get too much weirder than this well at that point, I had also signed up for the oil massage. It was a cheaper package. So what they do is the, he, he encourages me, uh, or he, he kind of gestures, okay, I'm done. So then I, I walk out and then the, the receptionist is like, oh, all right, uh, over here, and he speaks a little English. He's like, relax a little bit before the massage. Uh, here's some, some tea and, and sit up here. And so there's, there's a table or, uh, that, that basically overlooks the front door. And this is a co-ed uh, co hammam. There's just separate areas. The down, downstairs floor is for women and the upstairs floor is for men. But so I'm still only in my towel. And, and I'm sitting there and there's really not much space. So now I'm, I'm, I'm sitting at this, at this chair and the only way I can sit is so my legs are facing exactly towards the door. And I've still only got the towel on. So I'm sitting there terrified that anybody that walks in the front door is just gonna get a face full of my balls. So I'm, I'm, I'm 
gulping down my tea, hoping that I that I, I move fairly soon, which I managed to do. And then uh, it's time for the massage. So we go up and, and, I, and he's like, oh, lay down. Boom, off comes my towel again. So now I'm laying there naked. And it was my first completely nude massage. As this guy starts kind of talking to me and massaging me. And uh, at that point, I'm pretty sure he could tell that I was a little uncomfortable. Uh, because he start, he's like, starts telling me about his family, about his wife, about his three kids. And then he's like, oh, okay, turn around. And he just kind of lifts the towel up. So now I'm completely naked and turn over so I'm facing up. Sets the towel back down. So he finishes the massage, which was lovely, really relaxing. And then, uh, and then uh, yeah, so that was the end of it. But so um, apparently that's not how every hammam works. But apparently I found a fairly local one or who knows. But that was my hammam experience. And that's what prepared me for my Austrian saunas. So go prepare, have fun, and try to relax. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it made you laugh, made you chuckle, made you grimace and uh, perhaps inspired you to travel. Uh, I always say I travel for the misadventures as much as the adventures. Please subscribe, leave a comment, it would be great. Your feedback means the world to me. And definitely, as always, check out virtualwayfair.com for more in-depth stories about my travels.